Welcome to our third journey into the Anakin eighth years. This is the 28th eighth year, B-A-G, which you could pronounce bag, or you could go B-A-G-E if you prefer to pronounce Anakin in that way. This will be another deeper journey into wakefulness as we rise upon the plains and become more and more uh, awake and aware as we explore the deepest aspects of our soul and our consciousness. So the technique that we'll be using tonight is one uh, given to me by Freighter uh, Barabbas, unpublished secret material, very cool, where we create a gateway. The gate structure is, of course, a triangle. If you think about other form, ritual formats where you use a triangle, like a Solomonic work, the spirit appears in a triangle. In this case, we're using the triangle to create a gateway, a doorway to the level of consciousness of BAG, or Biage. Just as the um, Triangle of Solomon has three corners. Each of the 30 Enochian Aetheres have three letters. We spell them out phonetically using the Hebrew alphabet. And the get talismanic gate keys are, of course, the major arcana. Have faith. Oh, sorry. Faith, the magician. Aleph, A, the fool, and Gimel, representing the G sound. So the gate structure is the magician, the fool, and the high priestess. Quite interesting, quite powerful. Format of the ritual will be as always, first thing we'll do is we will create sacred space. We'll be using the Anakian Star Temple where we bless the temple with the four elements, call our four guardians and guides, the four archangels of the tetra, uh, tetramorph. The next phase, we will invoke the gateway and put on our rings and laymans and activate the holy table, move through the gate. And once we're within the gateway, we'll do the Anakian call of the atheers, inserting the bag of the the Age, as I'm going to pronounce it, in the appropriate spot in the call. So I'll be using a call as it's from Lon Milo Duquette's Anakian Spirit Magic. Wonderful book. This is one of my favorite books on Anakian. If you have one book on Anakian Magic, this is the one I would buy. It's uh, very clear covers all the ground, covers all the basics, and it's not boring, as most of, pretty much all of Lon Milo's books are very interesting and engaging to read, is extremely helpful. So, normally when we do this type of spirit work, we go into a great deal of detail about the spirit, what it's gonna look like, what its name is, what it likes for breakfast, what color it is, so that we can dial in exactly into what that, that particular wave of intelligent energy is, so that we connect to the right wavelength. This, this type of spirit journeying, we do not go into such detail because we want everyone to have their own unique experience without it being right or wrong so that you can have your own experience of the age uh, for yourself. But I think what we find looking backwards, it's there's a really a lot of similarity in the experiences. The only clue that we have is in the name and the associated tarot trumps, which will help us create the archetypal gateway to help us dial into that particular frequency. Of course, the real work is done by the call, but this can be very helpful. 
When I begin, first I'll do a cobbless across to help pull us all together into an egregore. And then I will create sacred space, open the gate, and do the call. Ballistic cross. Visualize yourself growing larger and larger till you grow out into outer space and the sphere of the earth is but a small ball beneath your feet. Up above your head, visualize a ball of pure brilliance. And reach up and touch the light, bring it down to your forehead and vibrate. A Oh, bring the light down through the center of your being and ground it in the earth so that you're standing in a column of pure brilliance and vibrate. Light up to your left shoulder to a brilliant ball of blue flame symbolizing the love that flows across from the creator to all of us. And the energy across to the right shoulder to a ball of red flame representing the will Givura Lam Amen. Inheritor of a dying world, we call thee to living beauty. Wanderer in the wild darkness, we call thee to the gentle light. Long hast thou dwelt in darkness, quit the night and seek the day. The Enochian Star Temple. In ancient times, long before the rise of humanity's civilization, unity became duality and war was waged throughout the inner planes between the forces of light and darkness. Thus duality and its eternal conflict came into being. The forces of light and darkness each included 400 stellar beings called angels by the ancients. Separate from these beings, a third force existed, 400 angels who remembered the state of unity and who chose to transcend duality. They became the stellar guardians of the grail, the keepers of the divine gnosis, that towards which we aspire.
In the name of the stellar guardians of the divine wisdom, I bless the water contained in this chalice. May it become sacred as the flowing waters of the infinite cosmic sea. I bless the salt upon this altar with the divine forces of the Gnosis, which transcends all polarities, may it embody the strength of formation. Divine magic of Horus is a union of opposites. The mixing of the sacred salt and water is the first act of uniting the polarities the creation of a holy lecture, which shall consecrate the stellar temple. Dawns passed, and humanity proceeded to evolve. As we increased our capabilities, the conflicting forces of light and darkness utilized us as pawns in their struggle. The stellar guardians of the grail, who wished to assist the process of human evolution, thus freeing us from ignorance, sent 200 of their number to Earth, bringing with them the fire of the divine wisdom, the Nephilim descended upon the Earth, and taught humanity the sacred art of magic, the secrets of the stellar realms, and the blessings of the elements. Humanity was not prepared to receive the ancient stellar wisdom of the Nephilim. We abused the powers, using the most high magic, for petty purposes and to gain control over others. Great magical battles were fought and the contagion of evil covered the earth. The stellar lords, seeing humanity's folly, dispatched four mighty angels who sealed the Nephilim and their magical arts in the dimensions between worlds where they silently await our coming to once again acquire the ancient star lore of the Nephilim we must prove ourselves worthy. Having done so, we will be given the keys to unlock the stellar gates and commune with the keepers of the divine wisdom. Summoning of the four wards. Iba e ozube e exarpe. Put you forth, O Raphael. Come to us, guardian of the eastern stellar gate. Grace us with your breath, which blows forth as divine wind. Teach us your virtues, which are equanimity and balance, healing and compassion for others. Deem us worthy to receive the first key, so we may attain the secrets of the high star magic. Ipe te i a a pe deo ke i. Ome. 
here before us, Lord Michael. We conjure you, O protector of humanity. You are as a lightning bolt, which illuminates the dark void. You are the bringer of light, of fire. Teach us your virtues, which are openness to the divine wisdom and illumination. Purify us with your flames and grant that we are worthy to receive the second key, so we may unlock the stellar gates and pass into the realm of the Star Wars. Impeare Estelgia Yo Eco Ma. To this Gabriel, Archangel of the Chalice of the Silver Crescent, teach us your virtues of love, devotion, and selfless sacrifice. Aid us in our deepest meditation so we may become connected with the source of all consciousness. Help us attain the ecstatic states of being which reveal to us the third key to the gates of stellar awareness. Anuteya. Uh, I invoke you, Uriel, Archangel of the realms of Earth. From you, we learn the virtues of centeredness and inner contemplation. You teach us stillness so we can hear the silent voice of the inner self. Appear and aid us, O Uriel. Make manifest the fourth key, which will allow us to enter the in between spaces, the inner dimensions of our own being. By learning the virtues of the archangels of the tetramorph, we are given the keys to unfolding the self. It is the underlying unity of the four elements which bestows upon us the fifth key to the stellar reaches. When we unite the four elements within ourselves, we become truly human. And becoming human, we can attain the stars. The expanse of stars reveals itself. We rush towards the stellar reaches. Come to us, star lords of the Nephilim. We call upon you, Sha'ezmaz and Azael, lords of the Aralim. Teach us your secrets. Reveal to us our inner selves. Help us attain the celestial spiritual heights. Invoke the powers of the first, which shall open the gates of darkness beyond the spirals of the Azimai. Open the mysteries of creation as a flower. Unto me is the star child reborn and resurrected. In the name of the unity of being, the power is in my heart, on my lips, in my eyes, and in my soul. Well, Vinu, de Lunusa, da Ael, da Triani, Odo, e Ione, Antar, Akami, Salahote, Azonizoda, Odo Sakale, la Quanta, lo Stelque, Pa Imbete, o el Inuromi, e we a Goholote, a Kahelante, do a a mouse de Gadna, a la Neshi, a la do a Wano Anim. O do al balam, o do al omonas, o do al gi
table has been opened. Have your ring and layman. Now's the time to get them out so we can charge them. Teach us, O creator of all things, to have correct knowledge and understanding, for your wisdom is all we desire. Speak your word into our ear, O creator of all things, and set your wisdom in our hearts. Amen. Behold the ring, lo, this is it, wherein all miracles, divine works, and wonders were wrought by Solomon. This is it, which the archangel Michael has revealed unto us. This is it, which philosophy dreamt of. This is it, which the angels scarce know. This is it, and blessed be its name, yea, its name be blessed forever. Without this, we shall do nothing. Blessed be its name that encompasses all things. Wonders are in it, and its name is wonderful. Pele, its name works wonders from generation to generation. Amen. Behold the layman, as the holy table conciliates heaven and earth. Let this layman, which I place over my heart, conciliate me to the holy table. Amen. Romantic gate of Age. Okay. Magician. The process of spiritual evolution requires the individual to master the self and overcome the limiting factors of fortune. The source of this motivating power comes from within the individual and manifests as the will to be. But let not this will be defined as egoic and without purpose. For the goal of magic is to become one with the mind and spirit of the source. Open the gates between worlds. Faith. Aleph, the fool. When the individual will of the magician has resulted in the climatic union with the absolute, 
then the perception of this individuality ceased to exist. It is replaced with the sense that all things are merely reflections of the absolute and therefore not real. This is a state of illumination where all is perceived as one and madness and genius are in harmonious agreement. The individual spirit is lost, but the whole is gained. I open gates, the gate between worlds. Aleph. Himmel, the high priestess. Where individual has through the power of the will gain union with the absolute spirit and thus has caused that same individuality to be extinguished therein is found the solace of eternal companionship and intercourse with the universal mind and eternal soul of creation. In this fashion, the cycle of the greater adepti has found completion for to be the perfect channel of one spiritual source is to assist in the manifestation of the divine plan. Open the gates between worlds. Faith, the path of will transformation, Aleph, Illumination, union, and the end of the self. Gimel, the channeling of the spiritual source. Be the pattern of enlightenment is represented by the ascending desire for spiritual union and the corresponding will of God to manifest order and the point of mediation, the human genius. Open the gates between worlds. The age. Call of the Aethers. Nineteenth call. Draxix das perfit. Beage. Ke ise me kalazo. Seya anir kaasko, old viziz, balvizras, yada nanka go huliam, mikma adoyan miade, yaod belorb, saba o o eona, kehise lucifitias, peripuso, de abrayasa, non sef netiabe. Kaoske, O Pilb, Ald Felant, Dam Peloz, Teowat, Nansef, Gimi Kamazoma, Rizad, Tofko, Marbiare, Idoiko, O Turzup, Yadef Gohol, Kaoska, Tabe Yord, Seyanir, Od Christos, Yerpul, Kiobel, Butir, Tibal, Noalem, Fiade, Oresba, O Dodorimi, Zalina, Eleza Petib, Parangi, Peri Pasax, O Te Quirset, Beo Apes, Lenimbem, Avocho simp od Christos, 
o totorn mir que pelobe lil tan peyambed dizomo as pen o Christos ad il toton parach as yimp for these god fall od fifth lal is this man od old forget bombs o ma o as ton isbra old a wa yuax tonug or katibi no asmi tabaj levi themong onichi amtilab ors Bagele moa eo, old Kurdis, el campano, iax maip, old kako kasbe, gesea, bagelin pe il pilnanta aba balond, old fa orgit, telo ke vivoum, nedrix turzu oa derax, orecha. Aba pri tabelori priaz atabas arapan purska dobex yokam priazi orku azeor od quesab queting repir peyaxor begakot the mel od tridzar. Kakarge eovi ei korimt. Kurzovim zakar od zamran. Esimp sibisi butomana bis durzaz. Tia baltan oro sekale quea a od ozama pelapi iladan namad. Wa maus de. Abni zip. E hawate jaida. Do a maus fu ki sini. E hawate jaida. Do a maus de ox lopar. E hawate jaida. A brixi fu kismini. Ox lopar. Labni zip. Ukisini, ox lupar, labni zip, ukisini, ox lupar, bini zip, ukisini, ox lupar.
is our period of meditation on the fear of now gate. Okay. So open the gate of return. Open the gate between worlds, the eastern gate back to the light of day. We thank you for your grounding and assistance with our contemplation. Gabriel, we thank you for the ecstatic states of being that lift us to new spiritual heights. Gael, we thank you for your divine illumination and protection. We thank you for your balance and clarity. May whatever wisdom and merit we have generated by this ritual go to the Ending of suffering and the causes of suffering for all sentient beings. The ritual is now complete. Thank you for coming. <laughs>